Good morning, Ms. Good Brinkley. Morning, Hi, sir. my name is Santiago. I'll be the hygienist with you today. Nice to meet you. If you want to go ahead and come back this way with me. Right so you've been here before, correct? Yes, I have. Awesome. Okay, so today should be pretty routine then. Okay. We'll get you started with your vitals if I can have you come in and have okay. a seat right in here. Okay. First thing we're going to do is get your temperature here. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to get your pulse if I can take your wrist from you and I'm just going to hold your hand here and place my fingers here. Okay. All right. And we're going to place this cuff over you. I'm going to start with getting your blood pressure, okay? Okay. Everything is looking good today. Okay. All right. Do you want my chair? No, ma'am. You're more than welcome to stay sitting there. So we're just going to go into your medical history. Just make sure everything is still correct in here, okay? Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Now that we've gone over that, if I can have your signature here, you can use the end of this pen here and just sign right on there. Okay. Perfect. That'll work. And then I can go ahead and have you come sit right here in this big chair, okay? Okay. All righty, Ms. Brinkley, so today you are not due for a doctor exam or x-rays. Do you have any concerns, anything that's bothering you or hurting you that we need to be made aware of? I don't think so. Okay, perfect. Well, today we'll just get started with your cleaning. We'll have the instructors come in and take a look periodically, and then at the end of it, they'll come in and take one final look, and we'll be done, okay? Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right, Ms. Brinkley, I'm going to go ahead and place our little patient bib on you here. And then we've got some cool sunglasses for you to wear. This is just to help protect your eyes throughout the procedure, okay? All right, Ms. Brinkley, this is the antimicrobial mouth rinse here. If you can rinse with that for 30 seconds and then spit it back out in the cup, and then you can just put the napkin inside and I'll throw that away from you when you're done, okay? Okay. All right. All the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of fill around some areas. We're just making sure that there's no swelling in any of your lymph nodes or anything of that sort. I'm gonna lay you back and what I'm gonna do is just kind of take a look throughout your mouth, just make sure that there's no abnormalities or anything that we need to be see or anything like that. Okay. Okay, Ms. Brinkley, I'm just going to take a quick look with my mirror here. I'm going to fill around in some areas here. And do you mind sticking your tongue out for me? I'm going to just grab it here with my gauze. Kind of raise it up from side to side. Perfect. Everything's looking super good in there. Okay, okay Ms. Brinkley, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some measurements of your bone levels. I'm going to be checking three spots on each side of the tooth. So six spots total per um, on the tooth. And we're going to go all the way across on the front and all the way back. And same thing on the bottom, okay? Okay. All righty, here we go. Have we just open big. Okay, so your numbers are looking pretty good. There was a few areas of inflammation just back down your upper left. Typically what that means is we're just not getting back there and brushing good enough. So whenever you're brushing your teeth, you want to make sure you're brushing for two minutes and make sure you're getting way back in there and angling that toothbrush up by the gum line so that we can kind of clean any of that bacteria out, okay? okay. So what happens is if you don't get that cleaned off, your gums will start to kind of get inflamed. Um, that inflammation starts causing gingivitis and in return what happens is your bone doesn't like that. So you start losing bone little by little. Um, you don't feel it, it doesn't hurt or anything. And that's how people end up in dentures. Of course, you're nowhere near that, but we just got to kind of explain that to you so you kind of know what can happen if you don't. This is what we call periodontal disease, and this is what gingivitis causes. And so here you have a patient who can go into stage two and three, and so on and so on. And then of course, you get to the point where your teeth are basically um, have no support, no bone structure supporting them, and then you can lose your teeth. And so that's what we try to prevent from happening. So we'll make sure just we go, go back in there and clean really good in the upper left area, okay? okay. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be checking areas of your teeth, see where there's some buildup and what we need to get cleaned off of there, okay? Okay. Awesome. Have you open big for me? Okay, Ms. Brinkley, now that we got that finished, my instructor, Ms. Briscoe, will come over here in a bit and she's just gonna kinda take a look at everything we've done so far, okay? Okay. Hey, Ms. Brinkley, Hi. this is Ms. Briscoe. How are you? Nice to meet you. Alrighty, Ms. Brinkley, so here I have your Hygiene Clear Plan. This is just basically going to kind of be going over what your needs are, okay? So we did talk about that area of gingivitis. So um, this is just kind of showing that you have some slight gingivitis in the upper left area. And then um, this kind of goes over your caries risk. So basically what we do is we um, kind of take a look at what you're eating and drinking and kind of what restorations you've had, if you've had any cavities in the past. And we kind of determine if you're at high caries risk or moderate caries risk or low caries risk. Today we have you at moderate caries risk. 
and then you're not due for any doctor exam or x-rays today and then this is just saying that we are going to be doing your cleaning just a normal profi and then your fluoride okay okay and if i can have signature here for it so I'm going to get started with your cleaning. We're going to use our ultrasonic scaler, which is just going to be a lot of water. It may be a lot of noise. And we also have our little vacuum. It's basically just going to take out any aerosols that may be produced. And so it's going to be a lot of noise. If you have any complications or issues, just raise your hand and I'll turn everything off, okay? Okay. And here's our Vanguard. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. It'll be a lot of noise. <laughs> Okay, so it's going to be a bunch of water, and because there's a lot of water, I'm going to use my suction, and we're going to make sure we try to get all that water out, okay? Alrighty, so now that we're done with the water, I'm just going to go back in with my hand instruments, make sure that we've gotten everything taken off, okay? okay. You'll feel me kind of just going along each of your tooth here. Just let me know if there's any discomfort or anything along the way. So we got your cleaning done. I'm going to go ahead and polish everything up. This is just going to make sure everything's nice and smooth. I'm going to use a little bit of this paste and afterwards I'll give you a nice big rinse, okay? okay. Alrighty, I'm going to rinse you out and you're just going to stay open for me and I'll get everything with my straw, okay? Okay. Awesome, we got you rinsed out. I'm just going to go back in and floss, make sure there's nothing stuck in between any of your teeth. Okay, Ms. Brinkley, we finished with your cleaning. I'm going to have my instructor come take a look. She's just going to check everything that we've done so far, make sure everything's looking good. And then afterwards, we're going to put on your fluoride. Do you have any questions or concerns before she comes in? No, I don't. Okay, perfect. Thank you. She'll be in just a bit, okay? Okay. Thank Got you. Got all finished good. up. Hi. How does everything feel? It feels nice, nice and clean. Okay, Ms. Brinkley, the next thing we're going to do is apply your fluoride varnish. This is just a high concentration of fluoride. This is going to help prevent cavities and help with any sensitivity that you may have. Now with this stuff, you want to be careful about eating or drinking anything too, too hot or too, too crunchy. So the hot stuff can kind of melt this stuff off. The crunchy stuff can kind of start chipping away. So what this stuff will do is kind of just put a protective coating and later tonight you can brush it and everything should feel back to normal. It'll feel sticky for a few minutes and then after that it'll start to feel better, okay? All right, Miss Brinkley, I'm going to go ahead and take this off of you. And I'm going to stitch you up, and if you don't mind handing me your glasses. And then I'm just going to have you stay seated for a little bit. So sometimes when we have you laying down, all the blood kind of rushes to your head. So we don't want you to get dizzy or anything. So we're just going to let you relax here for a bit. And while you relax, we're going to get you scheduled for your next six-month appointment, okay? Okay. Good. Awesome. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. I'll go ahead and walk with you out, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you in six months, okay? Sounds good. Thank you. Some water. Thank you. And we'll come right this way.